Okay, in this video we're going to talk about one of the fundamental features of Oracle, which is the ability to create a master detail block relationship that is managed automatically within Oracle and to be able to do this using um, wizards. So up here on the table, up here on the screen, I have our two sample tables, Dept and Emp, which Dept contains um, departments and Emp in uh, maintains contains employees. So what we're going to do in this demo is we're going to create a header detail relationship where you can go in and you can query departments and will automatically bring up all of the employees that are part of that department. So that requires us creating two blocks and then linking them together using a master detail block relationship. So let me get started by saying file new form and now the first thing I want to do is I'm going to create my my first block, my depth block. So I'm going to go to the data block wizard and I'm going to click next, the table or view. I'm going to click on browse, grab my depth table. I'm going to include both columns. Okay. And now, even if I decide not to display the department number field, which I'm, I'm not actually going to display department number. I need to include it because I'm going to be linking the depth table to the emp table through this <clears throat> department number field. So then I'm going to say next. I'm going to just let it be called block or depth. And then I'm going to create the data block and bring up the layout wizard. I'm going to put it on the base canvas. And in this case, I'm going to just show department name. I'm going to leave department number as a non-visible item. And now I'm going to create in form and I'm uh, going to call the title departments. I'm going to display one record and <coughs> now I have departments. Okay, so the next thing I want to do now is I've got departments up here and down in this section what I want to do is I want to create all the employees who are part of that department. So now I'm going to go back up, click on data blocks, go back to data block wizard and here we go again. So this time I am going to select the emp table and I am going to grab all the columns, emp no, emp name and dep no. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to link the emp table to the dep table through dep to know. So I'm going to say next. Now, I want to create this relationship. Now, one of the things I can do if your DBA has created um, the, all the uh, primary key, foreign key constraints in the database, I can allow this thing to attempt to auto join the two blocks. Now, I actually don't like doing this because I want to be able to keep a little bit of control over what I'm doing. And uh, I, I, so I personally, it's just a personal preference. I, I usually do this, uh, I create the relationship manually. So, what I want to do is unclick the uh, auto join data blocks and I'm going to click on create relationship. Now I have a rela that first thing I do is I collect I select the relation type. Now I am going to um, base it on a join condition. So uh, I'm creating the relationship between emp, emp and depth so I'm in the emp block so obviously my master block I've only got one choice which is depth and I say okay. Now I'm going to join it via depno. So in the detail items depno is going to be equal to the master items depno. And you notice it creates a join condition which, which says emp.depno equals dep.depno. Now what that is is that is the relationship that is the primary key foreign key relationship between emp and dept. So now I say next. I'm going to call the block emp. I'm going to do the same thing where I create the data block and then call the layout wizard and <clears throat> my layout wizard is going to appear I'm going to put it on canvas the same canvas now in this case I am going to um, I'm not going to display department number but I'm going to display empno and emp name and then I'm going to do it in tabular form I'm going to say employees I'm going to display 10 records and I'm going to put a scroll bar on it. I say finish. So here we go. I have now created a form that allows me to work with department and employees 
and it allows me to query on department and automatically bring up the employees. So let's run this form and see what Oracle Forms has done for me. Okay, so now my form is up here, and so the first thing I'm going to do is test it out. So I'm going to go enter query, and I'm just going to say execute query, and now notice, notice I brought up department sales, and it lists everybody who's in the sales table. Now, it's a couple things I didn't do, which I can go back and do. I don't have any ordering on here. Notice it's just kind of coming up in a random looking order. Um, I can do all these things where I can actually set a default where clause, and I can set my order by clause in my block definition. But what I'm just going to do here, you see that as I either scroll forward or scroll back, it shows the employees that are part of the department. So now even if I go in and I insert an, an AMP node down here, it will automatically create that relationship between the AMP node, uh, between the employee and the department. So this is your demo of creating a master detail block relationship with an Oracle. And you see how easy that is to do. And it is one of the most powerful tools you're going to find in Oracle Forms or in any programming language.